Jimmy, this is a man that needs no introduction. This is Pat Musi. Pat Musi has been around this sport. Pat, must have been 30 or 40 years by now. It's 40 now. I don't, I don't want to admit it, but it's 40. Pat, you have done everything in uh, drag racing, from pro stock to sportsman to pro mod. Here you are in Las Vegas, having a good time. You qualified right up on the top. You just barely got knocked off. You've made three runs, two of them 6-0, one of them 6-10. How does it feel? Tell me Tell me how the track feels. Tell me how you feel. I feel pretty good about it because we've gone down every run of qualifying. You know, and that's what we're trying to do. We're working on the car down low to make sure it makes rounds. And who's responsible for that? Little people know. Is, I mean, I got a real great crew. Joe's on the phone, but Ricky Smith is making all the calls, believe it or not, from King, North Carolina. That's fantastic. Well, I mean, he's got Joe taking pictures of the graph on his phone and sending them. I mean, he's just, he, Ricky's like me. We are hardcore racers. We take flack. People think we're cocky. It's not about being cocky. We work hard. We race hard, you know, and I mean, that's what it's about. And we're here to race. You know, you, uh, you're a national figure in drag racing. You're from the East Coast, from New Jersey. Everybody knows you. Lucas Oil, I know, thinks so highly of you that they brought you out here. I know you support their products. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I got to tell you, you know, I, I got onto that deal and started talking to Tom Brogdon, and uh, he said, I'm going to send you know, some oil to try. Now, listen, I've had a lot of oils through the years, you know. And, I, and you know, I, I, as soon as I got it, I ran it. I'm telling you, and I'm not just telling you because they helped me come out here and they're helping me. It's not about that. It is the best oil I've ever seen in a race I did for our application, severe duty. I mean, our push rods never look better. Our bearings never look better. I, I can, I'm an engine builder. I know. I know when there's an improvement. And whatever they're on to, I'm not going to go into that, but they have got their act together. And I couldn't be happier that not only to have a company help me, but their product's good. And that's what a lot of it's about. Now, on another subject, Pat, you're. Uh you're very well known. In fact, you're the, probably the most well known pro mod racer with a fuel injection nitrous combination. Uh, no one has spent more time with fuel injection, electronic fuel injection, than you have from the computer side, from the whole side. Fill us in a little bit about that because that you're not a carburetor guy anymore. No, you'd asked me 15 years ago. I don't know <laughs> what I would have told you, but listen, it's come. You know. It almost looks like we make it look easy now, but it's not. It's difficult. You know, we have to. It's not like a boost-related situation where you're just enriching a regulator from boost. You know, that injector has to do what it has to do four times. That you, each system comes on, it gets better. But the other side of the coin, you know, for the last 14 years or 13 years, it's been me alone, and I have a good group of dedicated customers, automatic guys, that have been coming, you know, the last couple of years, and then when Ricky came on board and put it on, and then Troy and Radford, now we've got clutch cars and the automatic cars. When I can get that much information from them guys, they're working hard on it. Joe Dunn, John Hall, you saw John Hall go 616. You know, it just helps your program. And then... Last but least, the AccuFab, I finally got somebody to listen to me and make a throttle body like I wanted it. I mean, it is a killer, killer piece. I can't even say enough about that. It's not where we're putting a decal on and getting paid because we don't get paid from them. We're buying those throttle bodies. Everybody's got them on, and it's a killer piece. You know, we struggle a little bit because there's so many guys trying to do what we're doing. Everybody's got their own ideas, but, you know, you help, George, and... Uh, John helped, and uh, I really appreciate that. Listen to our needs, what we needed, and then you want to work on it, you want to make it better. That, that, those are the kind of things we need. Then Ed O'Brock got on board and had EFI technology, Graham Weston, private label, and that's an Ed O'Brock fuel injection system with our nitrous. So, you know, with all this help, you're going to see some really serious improvements. It's going to keep moving forward, and it has been moving forward. Pat, it's always great talking to you. Uh, you always give the, the crowd a, an absolute thrill every time you pull up to the line, everybody stands up. It's fantastic to have you here. It's great to see you again. 
I don't get a chance to come back east and chat with you very often, but it's great. You have a great family, great team. We're looking forward to some real kick-ass action today in elimination. So good luck, and we'll be looking for you. Thank you, George. I really appreciate it. Thank Our you. Pleasure. We're we are here to race. You know that. When we show up, we're here to race. I got one more thing I'll tell you. My brother started racing a couple years after me. He went to the track, you know, and he said somebody walked up in the lanes and wanted to be friends and started asking about his car. I said, Ralph, number one rule, drag racing. Just look at the guy and say, listen, no hard feelings. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to race today. And that's what we're here to do. We can go have a beer. We can have dinner later. But right now we're here to race. We're not here to make friends.